I seem to have changed shirts into a uh, purple shirt here. I don't know how that would have happened. Anyway, first lift we have Hathor Bjornsson deadlifting 473 kilos with a cap on. Pff, must be very sunny in Iceland. As you can see, that's a ridiculous number of red plates where it just looks like a giant block and then a little blue one on the end. You can see he's brought the whole crew with him, even that guy who's crouching. He's got, got the old uh, Batman crouch going on there. See, what you don't know is he's going to jump down on his back and then help him lift it up at the same time. You know, you know some serious weights get lifted when you've got someone crouching. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so they're definitely winning an award for loudest shouts. You can literally see him shaking with excitement. And if we stop it here, you can see this guy on the far left. He doesn't give a shit. He's just checking his Instagram page. Probably playing a bit of doodle jump as well. God knows why he's uh, still got his belt on. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's going to tag team. After he gets halfway up, tap him out. This guy's got his belt on ready to finish off the other half. So we'll, we'll find out and see. Okay, so he's bending over, strapping up. The shouting's dying down here. They, they just want to see the lift. Okay, it's building back up, building back up. Okay, he's pushed it away. Doesn't like it. And he's pulling it in. The old push and pull. Oh, he's grinding the face. And he locks it out like a champ. Everyone's going crazy. Excitement levels are through the roof. Oh, hugs all round, isn't it? Oh. See, this is what happens when you hit, you bring your whole team in. It, it, it's like a, a joint effort. Everyone gets some love. You get some love. You get some love. Everybody gets some love. Well done. Lots of shouting. Heavy lift. Not enough chalk throwing in my opinion, but he used straps so maybe he doesn't want to use the chalk. I'd definitely give that lift a, an 8 out of 10. And actually no. An 8 out of 10. A 9 out of 10. If he'd had some chalk and some slaps in the face, definitely a 10 out of 10. So we'll just run through the stats of that lift. Overall, 9 out of 10. Not enough chalk. Definitely not enough slaps. And uh, could have used some more jumping. Lots more jumping. I say Jay Cutler's smoking crack. He ain't in his right mind. I like the crouch position of the hype man. That was the reason it tipped over from an 8 to a 9. On to the next one. The next lift we have is Larry Wheels with a 245 pound barbell in each hand for three repetitions. So I'm excited to see this because it's not often you see someone with two barbells bench, uh, ben yeah, dumbbell pressing, sorry, not bench pressing, which is what he should be doing with them, but he's not. So let's have a look. So he's got two spotters as you would need for two barbells. He's just repping these out. Mighty good, oh he's staring right at us. That was fairly impressive, but it was only an eight out of 10 because the spotters weren't shouting at him. If they're not screaming in your face, it's not worthy of a nine out of 10. So Larry Wheels, I'm disappointed in that. I like the celebration, but that was it. Should have used dumbbells, not barbells. This isn't a game. I'm not moving my piece two steps and then rolling the dice again. We're not playing Scrabble, Larry. I wasn't Colonel Mustard in the kitchen with the candlestick, was it? No, it wasn't. The last one I'm gonna be looking at is Eddie Hall's notorious, world famous 500 kilogram deadlift. The all-time world record. It's going to be hard not to give this one a 10 out of 10, but I'll see if I can find anything. First of all, it was in this ginormous stadium. So, for the support, he's got quite a lot. Probably about 10,000 people hyping him up. Unfortunately, they didn't all smack him in the face with chalk. 
because otherwise that would definitely be a 10 out of 10 lift. But let's have a look at this lift, shall we? Okay, so we can see him huffing and puffing. Up and down. I like the way he goes down to pick up the bar. So he puffs, he puffs, he straps. One hand, other hand, slide. You can just see him now whispering to the bar. He obviously knew he had this. Rolls it back like Thor. Sits down. Oh, and the speed that that came up out of this world. You can just see already he's looking around. He's looking at everyone like, you seeing this? This is 500 kilos. And then the cameraman just goes off on one. And uh, unfortunately he drops to the floor, so... Not nice, not what you want to see afterwards. But that's what happens when you lift 500 kilos. But yeah. That's all I can say about that one. That's all I can say. But if I was going to say a little bit more... Epic lift. 9 out of 10. So close to the 10 out of 10. But he, he fell at the last hurdle quite literally. What I did like about it was that it was 500 kilos. Pretty decent uh, amount of weight. The other thing I liked was the way he looked around at everyone. Alpha move that is. I love the strap routine. He clearly had been practicing that for a long time. I'm going to bump him up to a 9.5 actually. And I've never done that before. So you know that it's very special when I bump you up by 0.5. Well done, Eddie.